Okay, welcome back guys. So let's carry off from where we left. Let's carry on from where we left off. So I think what I like to do is to adjust the size of the head at the back. So this looks way too wide. So let's just make sure we are still recording this on a level, on a layer rather. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, so let's go to the lowest uh, division level for this. So let's look at some references in here. So look now, this I don't want this set to be just too much. This is this looks quite wide, so I'm just to come to the side view from the top view rather with the move brush. Just move this in place like so. Probably something like that should be fine. the years we need to get this up a bit higher yes yeah, somewhere around here seems fine So since we don't really have a the same reference for the side view, it might just be you might just need to kind of figure out what to do for the side view. Okay, so let me zoom in here, I'm gonna get some detail out of this. So I'm trying to work, so I'm going to start working free and in here. So I was supposed to make some adjustment on the forehead using the using our spotlight. So let's let's do that quickly. So I like to dock. I think she easy to let me put this to the side again. Okay. So I like to dock this to the side. So let's import our spotlight in here. So I go to texture and we should be able to load spotlights. So front cam spotlights. So we have this back in here. We it should be. Okay, so let's see if we can uh, make some adjustment on the the forehead. I think most of this is already in the right place. Take down the move brush and then just push this inwards a bit more. And raise this up a bit higher just a little bit higher like so All right is there anything else I'm supposed to do in there yeah, I think I can now I think I can now go free and in here I believe I can go free and in here now. So let's go free and in here. So we already created some landmarks in there to work with. So we we'll start making some adjustments. You can see this bone in here is a bit is raised up a bit higher. So let's kind of fix that. Fix that. So I'm going to use the clay brush in here.
Uh, like now this all this clear brush is giving us let's use the standard brush instead let's make sure stroke is turned off this mouse is turned off rather then you see a bit closer so i'm kind of using this side to kind of figure out what to do in there now just wait intense Let's take down the intensity. Still too intense. Nah, still too, still too intense. Let's try the clear brush again. Let's drop an alpha in there. Maybe this alpha 42. Yes, something like this should be fine. Let's accentuate this bone a bit more. Don't do that. Smooth is too high. Smooth intensity just way too high. So let's take this to five. Use the brush size. Smooth this down some more. Let's check, check this from this view, like so. Let's see what we have. Okay. I think I might need to flatten this down some more. So I'm going to hold out. Just flatten this out some more and then smooth that out, like so. So I'm going to change this to them standard brush. Now nah, it's way too intensity is way too much, so I'm going to turn off laser mouse for this. Take down the intensity. Just more trying to essentially that a bit more, but not too much to make this guy this character look too old. So let's move this down on the side. Okay. I think I need to bring the lip down a bit more. So let's use the move brush. Isolate. Okay. Isolate. Add marks. Invert the marks. Add the max blow this out a bit more. So the top of the list we need to bring down some more. Push this in like so. Bring this down. Bring the center part down some more. Come to the side. And push this in, get this out in like so, something like this. Let's go to this this kind of this view like so. Let's get this down. Okay. Let's do a little bit more work on the nose. Okay, no, let's just start from the top all the way down so you can kind of get a night and kind of idea of arranging this hierarchically. But let's come to the side one more and let's figure out what to do for the side. So this is this is one reference for this one reference for the side view for a side view
So this guy's bone is a bit more activated. So I don't know if this guy has it. We don't really have it. It's not so much on this guy, not so much. So we want to be careful not to overdo that. Okay. But not but what I would like to do is to check this from the side. Is to push this. Yes. So push this in some more. A bit more like this should be fine. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this from the same side view, like so. So let's indicate something in in here. So I'll just do something. No. Hold out and just dig something in around here. Something like that. That looks a bit much, so let's use a smooth brush and just gently smooth that down so it's not too so obvious in there. In here, I'm going to use a move brush. Gently push this in some more. And just do a smooth. Uh, is that too much? No, really, I think that should be fine. Smooth so this out again. Okay. Can see any dentition around here, so I'm going to use the them standard brush. We'll use the size of the them standard brush and just create. A depth. Let me just do this from the side, like so. From the front, rather. So, something around here, like so. And do that. Something like this. So it's not too aggressive, but so to but stay in there. Okay. Okay, so I'll just carry on and then create an create a depth around here also. So let's just create the depth around here. That goes across like this. And that's looking way too obvious. That's looking way too. Let's see if we smooth that down. If we should eliminate that some more. Yeah, kind of. So I'm going to use the move brush and then just push this down some more. Just to have some kind of act to it. Like so. It's supposed to be like some kind of depth around the center part, so let's use the standard brush and create that. So it's something more or less like this depth we have around here. So let's just block that in also. So I'm going to use the standard brush to do that. So hold it out. I'll just do something like so. Smooth that out. Yeah, I need to fill this up, but it's looking a bit weird. So, I'm going to use the clay brush and just fill this up some more. And smooth that down. Okay. So, there's a separation in the center part. So, it's like a depth, there's a depth around this region. So, let's block that in also. Let me see if I can find something that's a bit more obvious. Yes, something a bit obvious here. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see there's a depth around here. The depth around here. So let's block that in. So I'm going to be using the standard brush. Probably it's an higher brush size. Just zoom in a bit more and then 
pulled out and did some something around like so and smooth that out some more so from the side we should be having something we should have some of depth around here so that's precisely what we want this is the clay build up brush now i see some i see some depth around here also so let's just see if we can just create something in there and smooth smooth i feel like i know Feels like we're not really doing much, but maybe we cannot go to a bit and higher subdivision level. We should see some traces of what we did in there. So if you come to the side view now, you do see some traces around it. Let's use a blink material. You know this blink material just has this kind of dark shadowing around it, which which is way too much. So it's not extremely obvious, but still in there. Let me smooth this out some more. Let's go to the lower subdivision level and build something on here a bit more like this. Smooth that, smooth that on the side. Smooth up on the side a bit more. Something pretty much like this should be fine. Okay. Like I said initially, I'm not really going for absolute likeness for this bundle. <clears throat> Just trying to use what we can find in here to kind of create something. Okay, so moving on. We'll come back to the foil later on, so let's just carry on. So let's come down to the nose and then see what we can see what we can do for the nose. I think we might just need This is them standard brush and then create something around the air like so not too aggressive but something in there around okay i think i'm going to use the clay builder brush now it's a smaller brush size so i'll come to the side view like from let me just see if it is like so There's like a depth around here, so you want kind of old parts and then block that in something like so. It's not very obvious. Let us go to one subdivision level higher in there. I think on this subdivision level, we should be able to do a better job. So, with some kind of depth, like so. Spawn this out. Yeah, something like so. So it's gonna kind of get a shape around there a bit more. So I'm going to use the standard brush. Increase the brush size. It's gonna kind of capture let me do this from the front view. I think it's better done from the front view. So I'm going to just do something. So let's reduce the size of the brush a bit more and increase the intensity. Something like so. No. Something like this. That's a bit too much. Let's use the intensity of the brush. 
small that out from the top so we kind of get an edge to it something like so so i'm going to use the damn standard brush and then carve out the depth around there even more okay so we need to create something here so i'm going to use the damn standard brush and come down around here like so and i'll smooth that out a bit more i'm going to use the clay builder brush now kind of build something around here like so and i'll smooth that down on the edge let's fill some of this up so it's not that line is not so obvious to see and i'll just smooth this down okay so i'm going to use the clay build up brush now in order that the edge polish brush i'm just gonna get an edge to this somewhere around here Then I'm going to use the move brush. Kind of push this in, push this out for a bit more. Let's see what we <coughs> let's see what we have. This standard brush again to kind of create some more old notes with some depth around here. Let's go to higher subdivision level. Let's see what we have. Yeah, this front part is a bit too painted, so let's just smooth that out. So at least we get some of the block out we need in there. Except for one thing which is missing though, we're just going to accentuate this a bit more. So let's go to a lower subdivision level for this. So then standard brush. With a bit more intensity in there. Let's... Okay. It shouldn't be too obvious though, but at least something in there. Yeah, I think that's way too intense. Let's take down the intensity, take down the brush size, and do that again, something like so. Yeah, something like that should work. You can see there's more, some more flesh around there, so let's block out something more in there. So I'm just going to use the clay, I'm going to use the clay builder brush. Turn off lazy mouse for it. Take down the intensity. Also, do a quick save for this file. Okay. Yeah. So let's do this from the front view, but a bit to the side view, like so. We'll just add some more flesh around here, like so. Check this from the side. Okay, that seems fine. And I'll just smooth this down some more so it's not too sharp. Okay. Alright, this is looking nice. I was looking for a younger face, a younger type of face for this character. So, uh, I was going to work on the eyes a bit more, but for now, let's just, let me just go back to this mesh instead, this matte, matte, matte cap gray instead. <clears throat> and let's keep working on this. 
So let's go to the lips. Let's make the lip. Let's make the lips a bit better. So standard brush, them standard brush rather. This part needs to be a bit deep, too deep. Okay. Let's go on subdivision level higher on this. A lot of depth around this. Let's block that in. But let's make this a bit tighter. So I'm just going to use the pinch brush B P I. Let's pinch this down some more. Like so. So need to need some depth around this middle part. So I'm going to do the same them standard brush. Create an indentation in the middle. More is like a line in the middle. So something like something like this. But I'm not going to tighten this up a bit more. So I guess. Let me reduce the brush size and dig a bit more all the way here. Let's move this lower part of this top part of the lips because it feels a bit weird. Do the same up here also. We'll fix that up in a bit. Move brush, raise this a bit, a bit higher. Uh, uh, yes, much, much better. All right, so um, down here. So we're taking this from the side. So I'm going to use the clay. I'm going to use the clay build up brush and then just build a bit more of something in here around here, like so. Hold on, out and then dig a bit, a little around here. Then use the smooth brush, smooth this out some more. that out some more there's a shape <clears throat> there's some shape in here that we need to fix so uh let me go to one subdivision level lower for this physically build up brush and build something around here then smooth Go one sub go one subdivision level higher on this. I think I need to punch this in some more smooth. Okay, much better. I like to get a softer nose to it, so I'm just going to build something on here also. Then smooth that out. I see a bit of a rounder nose to him. But something doesn't feel right yet. So I'm going to use the move brush. Let's go to a lower subdivision level. Push this in some more. Yeah, I think something like that should be fine. Mm 
Yes, yeah, something like that to be fine. All right, so carrying on. Let's go one subdivision level higher again. And let's get some better lip shaping in here. Okay. I think this one is just way too far off. So let's just go to a lower subdivision level. We just smooth brush, smooth this out. Smooth this out a bit more. Just trying to figure out how. I think this part should be a bit thicker. Maybe thicker. So let's go to a lower subdivision level first. With the move brush, let's move this a bit higher. And let's flesh this out some more. So I'm going to use the clay build up brush instead. No, I think a better brush to use will be the inflate brush. So let's just use the inflate brush instead. But there's something something has to be in here. Like an indent there's an indentation around here, so let's just do something like so. Let's go to a higher subdivision level. I don't know if I did that way too much. Yeah, I think I did that way too much. So let's just smooth this down. Something like that should be fine. Same here also. Okay. So I'm going to hold out and then create a thickness around this. Let me undo that. Just I'm not sure about I think. Trying to figure out what we can do for the lips. Maybe I should get the lips around the ear instead. Then this lower part I'll just smooth down. Yes, yeah, some somewhere around there should be just fine. So holding out again. Get that out. Use the move brush. This part feels a bit weird. Okay, much better. So I'm going to hold out those. Go to the them, them standard brush, and then just block old out and then just block this out also and let me just do that correctly and that feels a bit weird on the side No, looks weird on the side. This part is just way too high, so I need to push this down forward like so. Yeah, something like something more or less like this should be fine. This I'll get in. A bit more like this. The thing to do, the only thing to do now is just to flesh this out some more and get some nice shape in there. Uh, 
okay let's get this from the side view so i'm using the move brush to just come from the side view We just need to compensate for it very well on the side. Let's use the inflate brush. So I'm using a bit of B I N. Yeah, no, it is. Doesn't look right. Smooth this in some more. Yes, yeah, begins to look a lot more better now. I think we need to max this out so we can do this properly. Increase the process a bit more. Okay. Undo that. Invert the max. Let's see the top view. Let's see what we have. There's a bit. I think I should. I select this out like this <clears throat> and let's flesh out these lower parts. So we get a, a more smoother transition around there. Okay. Right, let's see what we have. I think this part needs to be a bit more. Hmm. Yes, now it feels, it feels a bit, a lot more like a lip now. Shape of the lip now is now actually in there. Maybe with some minor corrections. Just to get a more smoother transition to it. Okay. We'll fix that up later on though. But for now, I think we're getting something a bit better now but we still need to kind of clean that up a bit more this thing needs a bit of cleaning to look right you can see how this half is a bit higher compared to, compared to the center part so But kind of keeping that in mind, so I'm just going to continue on and add some thickness around the air. Kind of, I'm kind of avoiding the center part though. The center that part you have some kind of steep steepness to it, so 
this is them standard brush and just kind of uh no that's way too intense Let me take down the intensity for this. So something like a line in the center. Now smooth that out, kind of spread that out a bit more, some more faded edge to it. Yeah, something pretty much, pretty much like this. So the same thing also happen for the top part. So let's go to a lower subdivision level. The shaping here, so this is them standard brush. Let me undo that. Let's do that properly. Yes.